from Adventist World Radio in Pune. A warm welcome to you as you join us. This is our international English service. In our program today, we have music from the Jody Malashenko Five and Candice Johnson, followed by a health talk on nail biting. Ending our program with a message from God's Word on the topic "Trust God with All Your Burdens." This is Maureen. I'm your host Sharad, and you are listening to Adventist World Radio, the Voice of Hope. Let's begin our program with a song entitled "Jesus Saves" by Jody Malashenko Five. church has been silent while the world raised its voice. In loud and angry tones they took the lead. But all across creation there's a rumbling in the hills as the chosen ones of God stand up to make His message known. I'm gonna shout it from the housetops, proclaim it from the mountaintops, tell the world Jesus says, I have made my choice, I'm going to make a joyful noise, the world will hear my voice, Jesus says. The rocks and hills were ready to proclaim the Savior's might, but the Spirit of the Lord said they should wait. You see, God knew His children were ready to march on and proclaim His word throughout the land and seal the devil's fate. But the world still tells us daily that God is not alive and salvation's plan, it's just a fairy tale. But their lies won't change the truth. Jesus died for you. And the word says his returning could happen any day. I'm gonna shout it from the housetops, proclaim it from the mountaintops. Tell the world around me Jesus says, I have made my choice. I'm gonna make a joyful noise. The world will hear my voice. Jesus says, we are heard. Joyful sound, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, spread the tidings all around, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, that's why I'll shout it from the housetops, proclaim it from the mountaintops, tell the world around me, Jesus saves. You are listening to Adventist World Radio, the voice of hope from Pune, India. Before you hear a health talk, here's a short story on Potter. Our key text is taken from Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 4, where it says, The vessel was marred, so he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make it. Yes, friend, Jeremiah watched intently as the workman shaped the clay. All seemed to be going well until the potter saw a flaw in what he was making. But instead of throwing the clay away, he reworked it until he had produced a perfect vessel. God told the prophet that this is what he would do with Israel. Her sins were preventing her from becoming the kind of nation he wanted her to be. But he would not throw her away. Instead, he would bring circumstances into her life to make the changes necessary to mold her into a nation that pleased him. God does something similar with believers today. Whether to remove sins from our lives or to mold our character to become more Christ-like, his goal is to improve us. 
some of Christ's followers seem to go through life without major reshaping experiences, but with other, in his infinite wisdom, God seems to take special measures. As a result, these people can be further down the road to spiritual maturity than most of us before they leave this life. If you are going through an unusual amount of grief, disappointment and pain, don't despair. The potter is at work in your life. Allow him to shape you, removing the imperfections and building your trust in him. One unknown author said, I do not understand, Lord. But one day I will see your loving hand was taking pains to mold me and fashion me. Dear listener, God sometimes may break us so he can remake us. Indeed, well, it's time to hear a health talk. This will be brought to you by Nirmala, a nurse. Dear listener, today we will be discussing about vitamins and the deficiencies that they cause and the source from where we could get it. What are uh, vitamins exactly? Vitamins are very distinct chemical substances found along with minerals in very small quantities in food. They can be seen, weighed and tasted. Vitamins help our body in processing food so that it creates energy, builds and replaces cells and helps in prevention of diseases. Vitamins are protective foods and promote health. Without these vitamins, we cannot benefit from the food we eat. We would become listless. It is no small wonder that, lacking essential vitamins and minerals, we suffer aches, pains and nervousness, while the child, irritable and weak, catches everything that is around and has no end of nose, throat, eye and tooth problem. The popular idea that we can make up the deficit by swallowing one or two vitamin pills is taking a long chance to remedy something that usually can be corrected at the dining table. There are many vitamins. The first vitamin that we will be discussing is vitamin A. Vitamin A promotes good eyesight, healthy skin, good teeth, general growth and vitality. It builds resistance to infection and is necessary during pregnancy and lactation. Its deficiency results in night blindness and lack of appetite. The natural sources of this vitamin are all red and yellow colored vegetables and fruits, milk and milk products and egg yolk. The next group is vitamin B and this vitamin B is divided into vitamin B1, Vitamin B2, Vitamin B6, Vitamin B12 and Vitamin B15. The first vitamin B1 is also known as thymine and it is essential for normal functioning of nervous systems, heart and muscles. It aids in digestion and promotes carbohydrate utilization. It is found in wheat, rice husk, yeast, peanuts, oatmeal, most vegetables milk and legumes. Vitamin B2 is also known as riboflavin. It promotes in general health and growth and it's also good for the skin and healthy eyes. Its natural sources are whole grains and their products, milk and milk products. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxin, aids in assimilation of fats and proteins and in building blood. It is essential for normal functioning of nervous system, brain and muscles. Its natural sources are wheat germ, bran, milk, bananas, peanuts, raisins and cabbage. Vitamin B12 helps in the formation and regeneration of red blood cells and nerve tissues. Its deficiency may lead to anemia, fatigue and lack of growth and sometimes an inflamed tongue. Natural sources are milk products. Vitamin B15, it makes up the deficiency of oxygen in live tissues. Its natural source is whole wheat, unpolished rice, pumpkin and sunflower seeds. The other vitamin listeners that we are going to talk about is ascorbic acid. It is also known as vitamin C. It holds body cells together, hastens healing 
and increases resistance to infection what are the most factors of good health and vigor natural sources are citrus fruits papaya mango tomatoes potatoes and spinach vitamin d also known as calciferol is essential for utilization of calcium and phosphorus and formation of good teeth and bones natural sources are sunshine which converts the cholesterol in the skin into vitamin d it is found in milk and milk products excess may cause toxic effects vitamin e also known as tocopherol works as an antioxidant it promotes better circulation forms new skin and wounds its lack may lead to early aging loss of reproductive powers and muscular disorders the natural sources are grain products wheat germ green leafy vegetables vegetable oil butter and eggs vitamin f promotes growth of glands skin and hair helps in assimilation of calcium and also in lowering of cholesterol levels natural sources are vegetable oils sunflower corn soya bean oil vitamin k helps maintain blood clotting system deficiency may lead to bleeding to death it is important to the healthy working of the liver it is present in wheat germ wheat bran potatoes tomatoes cabbage spinach egg yolk and liver vitamin p strengthens walls of the capillaries good for high blood pressure patients and builds resistance to cold and infection natural sources are peels and pulp of citrus fruits especially lemons the other thing we are going to talk about is minerals minerals like calcium magnesium phosphorus potassium and sodium are five important gross or basic minerals for the body important trace elements consist of chromium copper iron iodine manganese and zinc iron for blood and calcium for bones are important in requirements deficiency of iodine leads to goiter and of low magnesium to cancer deficiency of zinc in the system may lead to baldness loss of appetite and sexual dysfunction calcium is required for the formation and maintenance of bones teeth and contraction of muscles regulating heart rhythm and for clotting blood it is found in milk products pulses soya bean green vegetables citrus fruits sardines peas beans peanuts and sunflower seeds Chromium aids in controlling high blood pressure and prevents diabetes. It keeps blood sugar levels. It is found in cereals, mushrooms and corn oil. Copper helps in absorption of iron. It converts iron into hemoglobin and provides elasticity in the system. It's found in fruits, dried legumes, nuts, dark chocolates, wheat germ, bananas and honey. Iodine is necessary for proper functioning of thyroid gland which rebuilds energy kills harmful germs it calms the mind and body reduces tension and keeps you mentally alert and your hair nails teeth and skin in top condition it is found in radish, radishes asparagus carrots tomatoes spinach potatoes peas mushrooms lettuce onions bananas strawberries milk and cheese magnesium is necessary for handling of calcium and vitamin c within the body for proper functioning of nerves and muscles hard water invariably has high magnesium content those taking hard water are less prone to heart attacks is found in pulses nuts and leafy vegetables and dairy products Manganese is directly associated with the defense mechanism of the body. It supports digestion, removes fatigue, helps in blood clotting and manufacture of milk in nursing mothers. It is also good for diabetics because it increases glucose tolerance. Its sources are a simple cup of black tea, nuts, seeds and whole grains. Phosphorus is needed for normal bone and tooth structure. 
it speeds up the healing process in broken bones and is found in cereals and bread beans pulses milk and milk products seeds and nuts potassium is a key mineral without it there will be no life deficiency of potassium will produce a craving especially among the pregnant to eat dried mud or a special kind of clay loss of memory weakness of muscles irregular heartbeat and irritability it is needed for normal toning of muscles nerves heart action and enzyme reaction it regulates body fluids balance it prevents salt from raising blood pressure it is found in milk powder wheat germ dates potatoes peanuts cabbage peas bananas dried fruits oranges and other fruit juices seeds and melons selenium the last mineral acts as an antioxidant its deficiency is considered a risk factor in cancer and heart diseases sources are broccoli celery cucumber garlic onions mushrooms radishes and whole grains so listener we have heard about the deficiencies caused due to wrong eating so it's proper for us to eat right so that our bodies could benefit thank you nirmala for sharing a health talk you are listening to adventist world radio the voice of hope from pune india to know more you are welcome to write to us on adventist world radio post box number 17 Pune 411 001 Maharashtra India It's time to hear a song by Henley entitled Wind Beneath My Wings It must have been cold there in my shadow To never have sunlight on your face the we 
Our thought for today is taken from God's word and the topic is Trust God with all your burdens. This will be presented by Sharath. Dear listener, I am glad to share God's word with you today. And our topic today is Trust God with your burdens. And our text is found in 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 7. Our thought is taken from this particular text. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Dear listener, Christ pointed his disciples to the flowers of the field, growing in rich profusion and glowing in the simple beauty which the Heavenly Father had given them as an expression of his love to mean. If God, the divine artist, gives the simple flowers that perish in a day their delicate and varied colors, how much greater care will he have for those who are created in his own image? This lesson of Christ is a rebuke to the anxious thought, the perplexity and doubt of the faithless heart. Dear listener, often we carry our heavy burdens along life's rugged road, refusing to trust Jesus in spite of his repeated call for us to cast our care upon him. We are afraid that we might have to give up many of life's luxuries and pleasures along with these burdens, which wouldn't have been there but for these luxuries and pleasures. In fact, we do not mind carrying our burdens. However, we forget that these burdens, if carried too long, can often cause irreparable damage and result in a blend back not just physically but more importantly spiritually. As Christians, we are called to live a simple life without care and burdens for our God who looks after the birds and the animals looks after us too in a greater way. However, are not promises a life without troubles and trials? This is where we are to trust in Jesus and cast all trials and troubles upon him for he cares for us. Dear listener, here are ways by which we can learn to trust God with our burdens. Pray and ask. Attend church. Have a friend. Support group. Be confident. Begin each day with God. Remember, you are valuable. You have immense worth and capacity. You can be considered excellent. Cast your burden upon the Lord, for He cares for you. Dear listener, the Bible in Psalms 121 verse 3 says, He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Well, let me just conclude this message with a short illustration. Giraffe have the shortest sleep cycle of any mammal. They sleep only between 10 to 2 hours in a 24-hour period, an average of just 1.9 hours of sleep per day. Seemingly always awake, the giraffe has nothing much in common with most humans in that regard. If we had so little sleep, it would probably mean we had uh, some form of insomnia. But for giraffes, it's not a sleep disorder that keeps them awake. It's just the way God had made them. If you think 1.9 hours a day is not much sleep, consider this about the creator of all, 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 all our tall animals and friends. Our heavenly father never sleeps. Describing God's continual concern for us, the psalmist declares, He who keeps you will not slumber. Psalms 121 verse 3. In the context of this psalm, the writer makes it clear that God's sleepless vigilance is for our good. Verse 5. 
the lord is your keeper god keeps us protects us and cares for us with no need for refreshing our protector is constantly seeking our good as one song puts it he never sleeps he never slumbers he watches me both night and day dear listener are you facing difficulties turn to the one who never sleeps each second of the day let him preserve your going out and coming in one poet keith said the rock of ages stands secure he always will be there he watches over all his own to calm their anxious care dear listener the one who upholds the universe will never let you down may god bless you as you keep listening to adventist world radio dear listener let's pray our loving and caring god who art in heaven we thank thee for life and opportunity of knowing the truth may we learn to give our burdens to jesus and get full assurance that god will provide all our needs in jesus holy name we ask amen with this we have almost come to the end of our broadcast to learn more on god's word you are welcome to write to us here's our mailing address adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 41001 maharashtra india that's adventist world radio post box number 17 pune 41001 maharashtra india you could also email us on adventist media center at gmail.com you could also follow us on our website awr.org/english program this is morin and i'm your host sharad signing off from adventist world radio do join us again along with your family and friends until then we wish you good health and a happy home goodbye and god bless you